welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner so I started this week off by doing all of these new recipes things that we had never tried before we are gonna give you guys our opinion on whether or not we think that you should cook them and then my computer completely went bust and that entire thing got scratched so the few meals that I did record I am gonna go ahead and add into this week's what's for dinner the rest of them we have filmed while we've been at the beach and it has been so nice to actually cook inside instead of going out to eat every night and spending all of that money that we don't need to and you know what we feel a lot better as well and so it's just been a great week of what's for dinner and I hope you guys will enjoy it okay y'all it is Monday night and Bunky and I are making a recipe that we have never tried before I did find it on Pinterest and it looked amazing so this is gonna be a jalapeno popper chicken casserole and y'all I love jalapeno popper so this was right up my alley literally this is all that you need for the recipe I will tell you that it called for garlic powder which I, I would and could use but you guys know we love the ranch seasoning it just makes everything better so instead of garlic powder I am gonna substitute it for I can't talk I substitute it for that but literally you're just going to Cut these chicken breasts in half and then get your um, cream cheese up to room temperature so that it spreads really easily. You're going to cut these in little slices to lay them on top of the cream cheese, which is on top of the chicken. And then top it with melted cheddar cheese. We're going to fry up a couple strips of bacon to crumble on top as well. And then, of course, I will season the chicken with this before we do all the toppings throw it in the oven bake it yum delicious so i will of course show y'all as we go and then we're also going to have some broccoli on the side Okay, so I did go ahead and put the chicken breast in here. I did try and trim this one in half and I got it kind of thin, so this piece is very small, but it's just funky and I, so it will do. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle it with our ranch seasoning. And y'all, just so you know, the recipe does call for the chicken breast to be a little bit thin. That way they just cook a little bit better. And then Bunky is over here frying up our bacon. And once this gets crispy, we will cut it up into small little bite-sized pieces and sprinkle it on top. Okay, so I've set my cream cheese next to the oven while it's been preheating to kind of get it more softened. It could probably go a little bit longer, but it's getting late. Bumpy and I are hungry, so I'm going to try and spread this and make it work. Okay, JK, I stuck it into the microwave. Now it's much more spreadable. Okay, next up are the jalapenos, and you can kind of lay these however you want, do them pretty or not. I'm just gonna kind of throw these bad boys on. After your layer of the jalapenos, you go in, of course, with the shredded cheddar cheese, and you can add however much you like. We like it cheesy. Y'all know how I told you <laughs> how Bunky's like very precise about things? He cut every single bacon piece the same size. Okay, and you're just gonna sprinkle that on top. Put it in the oven. The oven should be preheated to 375 and it cooks for about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay y'all, it is hot and out of the oven. It is super bubbly and it looks amazing. I will tell y'all, we did take the bacon off before we put it in the oven. Um, we were scared that it would get like too crispy or burnt. So we just put it back on a few minutes ago and then put it back in there. Um, I don't know if you can put raw bacon on there or not. I have no clue. We did it this way and it worked just fine. So I'm gonna plate it up and then I'll show y'all what it looks like. Okay, Mr. Bumpy, you tell us your thoughts. All right. I think um, it's pretty good. As I've gotten further and further into the meal, now I seem to be enjoying it more. Um, I think it could have used more jalapeno for sure. I don't think we put enough jalapeno. Well, that's because I never follow a recipe. Like, I got the ingredients, but I didn't follow that for recipe. Yeah. Okay, my thoughts on this are multiple things. First things first, I think I touched my finger to my nose after I cut the jalapeno. So now the inside of my nostriliac is burning, but that's a side note. Um, as far as the meal goes, I would do it differently. I would marinate the chicken in something like a little bit tangy and spicy like overnight and then grill it. And then I would throw everything on top just to melt it in the oven. I just think it would be like so much more juicy and flavorful that way, don't you think? My mouth full. <laughs> I think it would. Um, or I thought even too, if you dice the jalapenos up super small and then mix the cream cheese, shredded cheese, jalapeno, 
and bacon all together and take its own little mixture almost like a dip or something and then rub it on top that would be really good too those are my thoughts okay y'all so tonight for dinner we are actually having shredded chicken tacos in the crock pot when i think of a crock pot i kind of think of like winter fall warm cozy foods but the more i kept thinking about this i was like wait it makes way more sense to use your crock pot in the summer because that way you're not heating up your whole house and getting it hot with the oven and all that so i was like you know what i'm gonna find me some really good easy crock pot recipes to cook this summer that way we can just kind of throw it in there it's easy we can go back to the pool if we want to or spend time outside so that sounds like way more fun to me so that is what we're cooking tonight i'm going to turn you guys around and show you the ingredients i found this recipe off of pinterest but Y'all know me, I can't just like stick to a recipe, I have to make it my own. So I'll tell you what the recipe called for and then I'll show you guys what I'm adding in that is different. So let me show you guys so that I can get this in the crock pot because I am really behind schedule right now. Okay y'all, so the recipe that I found on Pinterest only called for chicken, a package of taco seasoning, a package of ranch seasoning, and chicken broth. Um, which is great because it's so easy, but I just feel like they could use way more stuff than that. I actually don't know if I'm going to add in this broth. I think I'm going to cook it for a little bit and then see if it needs it because I'm going to go ahead and add in some black beans, rotel, and corn. And I think that the like juices from all of these will still give the chicken lots of moisture. And then if I need the broth, I can add it in later. But I thought these three things would be super yummy with it as well. And I also brought, brought, also bought um, chicken breast, but because I am so behind and I don't want it to be 9 o'clock when we eat tonight, I'm just going to use the chicken tenderloins that I have because hopefully they will cook a little faster. So I'm going to add this in and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Also, I did want to tell y'all, I think that you can cook it on slow for like 6 to 8 hours, but who has time for all that unless you start in the morning and I did not. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine on high, which I've already done, and I'm gonna set it to four hours and hopefully it will be done by then, I'm sure it will. Okay friends, it has been about two hours. Bunky got home and cut up the jalapeno and put it on top, but it is looking so good and it smells amazing. We're gonna let it cook for at least 30 minutes to maybe 45 more minutes. I would say it's probably done, but Bunk says we need to leave it. Gotta let that chicken keep going. So I actually just got out my little convection oven. I told you guys before, I did not want to use the big oven to heat up the entire house. That would have defeated the purpose of using the crock pot. So we actually use this little convection oven a lot. I just put our hard shell tacos in there and everything is about finished. So we're gonna go ahead and plate okay, it. Okay y'all, it is all done. I shredded up the chicken just a little bit, but it looks so good. Okay, they are so hot. They are literally burning our hands, but it looks so good. We have our little toppings here, cheese, cilantro, and sour cream, and we'll let y'all know how we like them. Okay, we're gonna share our thoughts with you guys on our crock pot chicken tacos, and both of us agree that they could have used way more spice. Um, Maybe a fajita seasoning packet instead of a taco seasoning packet. That would've been way better. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I thought they were really good. Yeah, I think I would have liked, um, which we just unfortunately didn't have, but some like shredded iceberg lettuce mm -hmm. with mine. Uh, that would have been, that would have added that little bit of crunch that I, I want. Yeah, I like mine just how they were, but they definitely need some more spice. Other than that, it was so easy. I just threw it in the crock pot, left it alone. It didn't heat <laughs> our house up, which is awesome. And easy cleanup. I ain't mad about it. There you okay, go. Okay, y'all. So we are packing up our lunch to take down to the ocean, and I thought I would show you guys what we're having. Bunky is making a, um, he's making a turkey sandwich. So he has on there, um, what do you have on there so far? Swiss cheese, tomato, lettuce, I think some horseradish. And the mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. And then he's put on his turkey. What kind is this? I've never had it before, but it's black cracked pepper, Boar's head turkey. 
It smells good. Mm. What else are you putting on? Is that it? That's, that's going to be it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so Bunky's going to wrap that up and then take it down to the ocean. A little bit. One more slice for good luck. Yeah. Then I am going to be having some ham and cheese crackers. I just go um, over to like the little deli section and get them to slice me the honey maple ham a little bit thick. And then I eat it with a few slices of cheese and usually on Ritz crackers. But today I'm going to actually eat it with some salt vinegar potato chips. This is the brand I got. Um... That might sound weird, but I think it sounds delicious. And I'm also going to use my chips to eat with my pimento cheese. And I was going to tell y'all, um, so you saw me make it before. This is homemade. And I will link that video down below. But this time I actually added in just a little bit of cream cheese. And it's even more delicious. So probably way more unhealthy, but it's good. So this is what we're having for today's lunch. We're going to take it down to the ocean and probably spend a couple of hours out there. Okay, y'all, so Bunky and I are gonna have a meal in tonight. We are gonna go ahead and grill this chicken, and I was gonna show you guys what I marinated it in. It's just this um, all-purpose Greek seasoning, and then some of this um, Parmesan and roasted garlic dressing. This is actually gonna be for a recipe that we're making tomorrow. It's gonna be like a pasta salad with like cold chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and grill it. That way tomorrow, It'll be cold and ready to go. Um, plus the flavors, you know, I think we'll marinate and marry overnight. And then we did go ahead and get this massive steak. We figured it is vacation, and since we're not going out to dinner, we're actually saving money. So we got a really big, nice steak. I'm going to go ahead and marinate this and get it going. We're going to take it out to the pool and grill, and then probably come back and have a, like, awesome patio night. So, that's what we've got going, and I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, to marinate this steak, I am going to go ahead and use some Worcestershire sauce, or just a little bit of these liquid aminos, which are way healthier, but kind of taste like um, soy sauce. And then in here, I've just put together a little spice rub. It is just um, cracked black pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt, this roasted garlic and herb, and then a little bit of garlic powder. So, that's everything that's going to go on the steak. I wonder if y'all remember this. When I was a little girl, I remember that Lee and Peppers always made like a steak sauce. Not Worcestershire sauce, but like a steak sauce. And it was amazing. And I have not been able to find it in years. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment down below and tell me. Correction, Bunky just told me it's called Lee and Parents. Parents. Whatever. You guys get the picture. It came just like this, wrapped up. I thought this was it at first, but it's not. Um, but tell me if you guys have seen it anywhere. Okay, so to go with my steak, I'm gonna have some corn on the cob. I just put three little slabs of real butter in here, and then I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of this like all-purpose seasoning salt, um, and then we are gonna put it on the grill with the steak. And then Bunky actually just made this cucumber and tomato salad. Um, we kind of looked up a recipe, kind of made it on our own, so we'll let you know how it turns out. totally sat out by the pool and sunbathed while Bunky was on the grill. There is something about sitting at a pool when it's like evening and the sun's going down and it's a lot cooler. It's just so nice and we had the whole pool to ourselves. Okay friends, steak is done and y'all, that looks so good. My corn is done. Of course, cook some tater tots because how can you eat steak without some potatoes? And Bunky's little salad, he's so proud of it. So that is what's for dinner tonight. Okay, y'all, so it is Monday at lunchtime. And like I told you guys last night, we went ahead and cooked this chicken because we are gonna make a really yummy pasta salad. Now, I did kind of look up a recipe, but as y'all know, I totally made it my own. I'm not going off of it. But one thing that I did find on the recipe that I thought was so cool, instead of using like bow tie or a normal um, pasta, actually using like stuffed cheese tortellini and I thought that sounds delicious so we're gonna go ahead and actually um, cook these and then let them cool completely 
and add them into the pasta salad. I love cold chicken. I think it tastes really good. So I hope the chicken would be really good with it as well. Monkey might add some pepperonis. And then I'm going to show you guys all of the other stuff. And then as we assemble it, I'll show you, of course. So we have some black olives, some artichoke hearts, red onion, cucumber, feta cheese, peppers, and tomatoes. Is that it, Monkey? Yeah, and I am not adding any pepperoni because I forgot that we had chicken. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, just kidding. Bunny's, that would be gross. That would be gross. I don't know why we thought that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, anyway, no pepperoni. But this is everything that's going in it. Of course, you guys know I do not like onions. Um... Or tomatoes, so I'm gonna make my own little separate side. But for bunkies, this will be everything that's inside. Okay, so so far we have the chicken, olives, artichokes, tomatoes, and cucumbers in here. The onions is where I draw the line. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of mine out before I throw those in there. I was gonna let you guys know we did we decided not to use any bell peppers. Bunky said it's okay without them. Not going on. Yeah, um, we do have to add in the feta as well, and then we will use this Parmesan and roasted garlic dressing as kind of like the sauce. This is also what we um, marinated the chicken in, and y'all, it was amazing. I'm definitely gonna be getting some more of this. Y'all, we loved this pasta salad. I cannot tell you how amazing it was. Yesterday when we got home from the beach, I made Bunky go to the grocery store and I've already made another batch of it. It was delicious. Okay, pasta salad is done. We both got our own little container. Obviously, this one's mine. I will say one thing I thought that you could add into this, and you guys know pasta salad is just so easy. You can kind of add anything, but maybe like some spinach or sauteed spinach just to give it a little bit more green and vibrancy and you wouldn't be able to really taste it, but you're still getting the healthy benefits. But other than that, y'all, this is incredible. It's so yummy and so easy and perfect for just like a day out by the pool. Okay, so y'all always ask me about my mixed drinks and what I like, and y'all, I have found the most refreshing delicious mixed drink for summertime so you need an actual watermelon I'm gonna go ahead and cube all of this up and stick it in here if there's too much I'm gonna put it in a ziploc baggie you're gonna pour vodka on it and let it sit in the freezer probably overnight at least until it's like pretty frozen and then we're gonna blend it up with mango and fresh lime juice and all kinds of yummy stuff and I'm telling you it is amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut So I've gotten my watermelon chunks all put in here, and if they're not perfectly beautiful, that's okay because you're going to blend them up. We already had these um, chunks of mango in the freezer, so I'm going to go ahead and put those back in there. They don't have to be soaked in alcohol. They can just be blended up with it. And then I have my tequila, vodka, and triple sec, and normally I put vodka in here, but I think today I'm actually going to do tequila because I think a frozen watermelon mango margarita sounds amazing and then after it's all blended up I will put in some fresh lime juice so for right now we're just gonna fill this with tequila and then let it sit overnight and freeze It is about 10 a.m. Bunky and I have been sleeping in every morning. Today is Tuesday and we're going to go ahead and make some breakfast at home today. This is actually some of the steak that we cooked the other night left over. So Bunky wants a steak and cheese omelet. So I'm going to make that for him. Probably fry up a few pieces of bacon. And then I'm going to make myself some scrambled eggs. It may be a little bit of toast. We got our coffees already this morning. So we are good to go. But that is what's for breakfast today.
Also, I wanted to tell y'all this bacon was buy one get one free at Publix when we were down here. And just to address the question that I got so many times, I, there's no way I could answer all of you. You all said, well, did you not get the free product when you were at Publix and you were buying all of the buy one get one free stuff? If you just buy one, then that one is half off. So that's what we do. That way we don't like get double if we don't need it and all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I concoct my little drink. This is our watermelon that we froze yesterday with tequila, and then we actually bought a fresh mango. So this has not been frozen. We've just cut the mango off the rind, as you just saw, and then you'll need one lime. I already have some ice here in the blender, so I'm just gonna start scooping my watermelon, although it's kind of hard to get out because it is frozen. You kind of, well, maybe, maybe you should let it thaw for just a second before you do this. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna switch with Bunky so he can do this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so next up we're gonna go ahead and add in the mango. Perfect. And then we're gonna squeeze half of a fresh slime in there. Okay, now you're just gonna add a splash of triple sec. One more, one more, one more. That's good. And just for good measure, we're gonna add a splash of tequila. Perfect. And then blend that up. So this is what it looks like after you've blended it up. And we're just gonna go ahead and pour it up. That's like Rihanna. Pour it up, pour it up. Uh, that way there. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, Funky looks amazing. And then you just top it off with another little squeeze of lime juice. And enjoy. Okay, so that is it for this week's What's For Dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, leave me a comment and let me know if you guys make any of these recipes. We had such a fun week at the beach. It was beautiful, the most perfect weather. It wasn't too crowded. It was just an awesome week and I had so much fun cooking for y'all. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.